Hey guys, welcome back to Mishmas. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to become very delirious. <laughs> it has been a lot of uploads. I hope you're not sick of me. Um, it's been a lot of fun to do so far. We're not at the end yet though. We're not at the end yet. So I don't know what day this is going up. Maybe the 29th? Not sure, but what we are doing today, as you can tell by the title, is we're gonna be talking about the new Chanel Tweed Pink Blush. And we're gonna be doing a swatch of all of my Chanel blushes while we're at it. Why not? I proposed this idea a while ago. I've been threatening you guys with this video for a while now. So here it is. And I was gonna do it vlog style and kind of, you know, show the swatch, whatever. We're just doing it here where I'm set up. I couldn't get the right lighting. Anyway, I have quite a few blushes. We're just gonna kind of, you know, swatch and talk about them and just, I don't know, I guess kind of go through them uh, one by one. So what I do want to mention is I don't actually have it on my face at the moment. I was filming another video, um, but I did put it on the other day, which I'll show you right now. I did take footage of it, of me applying it. And for such a light pink blush, I feel like it shows up on my skin really, really well. I feel like it's more pigmented than I thought it would be. Uh, it definitely shows up a lot more than I thought it would. And it's actually quite lovely. I really, really enjoyed applying it and I thought it looked really nice. I was just, I was very surprised. I was very surprised at the way it looked and yeah, just very, very pleasantly surprised. I still wouldn't say that it is like medium to deep skin tone friendly. Definitely not. But if you have like, I don't know, I kind of consider myself like light medium skin tone to light to fair, I think um, it's actually going to be quite pigmented. On skin tones, obviously, the more fair you get. So uh, so I just wanted to show you that, to mention that before we get into the uh, swatching. But I have all of my Chanel blushes in this drawer and they're all up and down this side. So I'm gonna take them all out. So I have, let's see, um, including the Tweed Pink Blush, I have, what is that, 12? I have 14 of their blushes. Four of them are like the Tweed kind, and then there are some limited editions sort of swirled in here. So let's go ahead and start with the Tweed Pink Blush. Let me, let me sort all this out and see what we have here. Okay, so here's the Tweed Pink Blush. Here is what it looks like in the pan. And the Tweed blushes always come with like kind of a glittery overspray and it, it actually lasts for quite some time because I think of this texture in the pan, the glittery bits actually kind of get caught in the like bumps of the Tweed blush. So I feel like that overspray actually lasts for a while. So again, here's the Tweed pink blush and I'm just going to run my finger over it. I'm just gonna swatch it right at the top here. I guess we'll have to go by group. There's no way I can fit all these blushes on my arm. So there, so swatched, I feel like, yeah, it looks, it looks pink for sure, but it looks very, very light. Uh, so I was surprised at how beautifully it showed up on my skin tone. So there is Tweed Pink. Let's go with Tweed Cherry Blossom. This one is uh, definitely limited edition. I don't think it's around anymore, uh, but this is obviously a much brighter, deeper pink than the Tweed Pink. Just gonna blend it in a little bit there. So there is Tweed Cherry Blossom. Oh, this is... <laughs> I had a Clorox wipe here because I was wiping down all of my surfaces and I started to wipe my finger on it thinking it's a makeup remover and I'm like, why does this feel so different? Because it's not a makeup remover. And I'll put the names of the blushes that I'm swatching as they come up on the screen, but I will list them all down below in the description box uh, in order that they appear just so you have a little bit of a reference. Um, here is Tweed Coraline. This one's a beautiful bright peachy color. So there is Tweed Coraline. And I've been careful not to use these Tweed blushes too much because I just, I love them so much. I mean, I love looking at them. I love, I love having them. They're just so beautiful and they're all limited edition and I'm just afraid I'm gonna go through them. Like the Tweed Beige blush, this next one, I've 
backed off of a little bit because I was using it a lot and I was definitely kind of starting to lose like the tweed effect there and the overspray, like I said, there's still a little bit there, but you know, it's mainly brushed away and I'm just, I'm getting nervous that I won't have this forever. I was gonna order a backup and then I was like, don't do it, Michelle, don't order a backup. And maybe I should, cause I think this beige one is still available. So here is tweed beige. Look at the finish on that one. Isn't it just so beautiful? There's something about tweed beige that is so pretty. All right, let's do one more limited edition blush before we get into at least the regular looking blushes. Some of these are limited edition, the colors are, and they may not be available anymore like Golden Sun. Uh, but this is like the, but this one is actually different in the way it looks. So this one was the Jardin de Chanel the Blush Camellia Pesh. So I'm just gonna swirl over all the colors. And here is, oof, isn't that so pretty? It's like right in between these two shades, the Tweed Pink and the Tweed Coraline. So, so pretty. All right, so one last look at these. So here's the Tweed Pink. Here's the Tweed Cherry Blossom, Tweed Coraline, Tweed Beige and the Jardin de Chanel, the Camellia Pesh one. All right, so here is Tweed Pink again. I'll do it way up here. Let's see, how should we do this? Maybe I'll do it in alphabetical order. All right, so first up is Burnt Coral, and I do believe this is limited edition, and I don't know that you can find this color anymore, but I love this color that burnt terracotta that I love. So here is burnt coral. Oh, I just love the Chanel blush finish. It just always has that beautiful satin finish and it just looks like it melts right into your skin. Next up we have Fleur de Lotus. And this one, again, I think is a limited edition one. It may still be available, not sure. But here is Fleur de Lotus. Beautiful bright coral color. Next I have Fosha Rosa and I, I have a friend that works at Chanel. So I have a couple of these that he was able to pass off to me. So this is uh, 430 Fosha Rosa, I think is how you pronounce it. It's such a beautiful bright coral color. So there is Fosha Rosa. Next up we have Golden Sun, which you guys know is my favorite. Beautiful neutral shade. There is Golden Sun. And then next up we have Jersey, which I got in hopes that it would be very similar to Golden Sun, which it is, but it's definitely a little bit uh, warmer, it's a little peachier than Golden Sun. So it's nice that we're swatching these right next to one another. So there's Jersey. So there is Jersey, you can see it's a little bit peachier, uh, like brighter than Golden Sun. Next up we have Malice. Here is Malice. There is Malice, isn't that pretty? So gorgeous, and I feel like it's very close to this Fosha Rosa color, maybe not quite as deep as that one. Next we have Reflex, and this was, I believe, like a re-release of this color Reflex, which was a limited edition color, but they re-released it, and I believe this looks a little bit different than the original. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but I believe this is, I don't know, like a little bit peachier? Am I remembering that correctly? I feel like Reflex was maybe a little bit more neutral. I could be wrong, but let me know down below in the comment section. So this is the newer Reflex, but still limited edition. I think they're, they're both gone at this point. So there is Reflex with a lot of like shimmery highlight in there. So pretty. 
And then next we have Rose Bronze. This is part of their regular line. Another beautiful shade. I don't think there's a Chanel blush out there I don't like. They're all so beautiful. So there's Rose Bronze. And then last but not least, we have Rouge Profonde. And this came out with the Fall 2016 collection where Lucia Pica first became creative director for the beauty line. And it's such a fantastic line. And I remember getting this blush thinking, oh, how can I wear that? But it's really just, it's so beautiful. It adds like uh, such a lovely amount of like heat to the cheeks. And she loves red, the, the creative director. There is Rouge Profonde. And that is the last of it. So let's start from the top here. We have Tweed Pink, Burnt Coral, Fleur de Lotus, Fosha Rosa, Golden Sun, Jersey, Malice, Reflex, Rose Bronze, and Rouge Profond. Thank you so, so much for tuning into this video and being up for a video like this. I think that was a lot of fun, especially if you're a big fan of Chanel, a big fan of Chanel blushes like I am. My very good friend, the glam Dr. Mona Khan, she's actually gonna be coming to visit me in Vegas very, very soon. And the very, very first thing that she texted to me and I was thinking was like, we gotta hit Chanel. We have to take a picture of all the blushes that we have so we don't buy doubles because I have done it twice now, I think, and pick up more blushes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing both of us thought of. So uh, we'll probably be live streaming. I will show you the new blushes I have picked up because I really, I just, I want all of them. I want all of the blushes that Chanel comes out with. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.